r slash ask reddit what is the stupidest thing you've done just to show you could do it my partner was a heavy smoker and at the time i'd never touched a cigarette i would subtly and sometimes not so subtly but always lovingly urge her to quit she told me i had no idea how hard it was i decided to take up smoking for about a month and then quit just to show her i could do it but that was 10 years ago i'm on a pack a day she no longer smokes you win lol cliff diving saw an old man do a front flip off a 40 foot cliff i said if he can do it so can i i did the flip all right followed by a belly flop that zeus could hear knock the air out of me but luckily people were floating nearby to save my dumb ass i bruised my ass by jumping off a similar height rock and landing in a seated position how was that enema public enema ducking sucks i fell water skiing one time and my father being the kind man he is pointed to the giant turd floating next to me and would not help me back in the boat while he laughed about it and I, as a 14 year old boy, had just been ass ducked by a lake. In 2001, my sister got me a Sony phone, a tiny little thing with a flip down front. She worked in a phone shop and got discount on the box. It said the phone was waterproof and there were tiny rubber seals in places. I believed them at the pub where I worked. This aspect came up in conversation. Some guy said the phone couldn't be waterproof, and that shower proof was probably more accurate. Remembering the box, I argued the point, and dropped my phone into a pint of beer in an effort to prove it. I was wrong. Brutal but well learned life lesson. OMG my friend did something similar at a bar years ago. She had a case called life proof and she swore it made her phone indestructible. So she picked it up, slammed it on the table, and shouted life proof. When she lifted it up her entire screen was shattered. Walked through the brush of our tree line to get a football to prove it wasn't poison ivy. I did it. I got the football. It was poison ivy. I once did something similar. But it turns out I'm immune to poison ivy. The rest of my friends, not so much. Fun fact. Poison ivy in humans is like chocolate for dogs. It only affects 40-60% of things. With chocolate for dogs, it affects enough of them to just avoid all dogs from all chocolates just to be safe. With poison ivy in humans, only a certain percent get the effects. However, just because you don't get the effects the first time, such as itchiness and rashes, you can easily get them the second or third, etc. You can handle poison ivy 20 times thinking you're immune. Then all of a sudden the 21st time hits you like a brick. Like chocolate for dogs. Even if you think you're okay. It's still best to just avoid. In grade school. Maybe age 11 or 12. I had these cheap jeans. I figured out that I could flex my belly and pop the button open. Found this funny and guy friends in class got a laugh too. One of them turns to a girl. Hey girl check out what OP can do. I flex my belly and let out a huge fart while the button popped open. She turned away. My buddy laughed. And I never did this trick again. Yep, something similar happened to me after a final in 8th grade. Me. My buddy and a girl across from us were done our tests so we were doing dumb shit to pass the time. One example was holding our breath and making our faces turn red. In a dead silent classroom I let out a high pitched fart and I swear to god my soul left my body. It wasn't low and fast so you could pass it off as a chair. No sir. Everyone knew I just ripped ass. Go to love it. Won a donut eating contest. In 10 minutes I ate about 17 donuts. And seconds before the time was up and I had all of my thoughts set on having a hearty cleansing puke a mother ducker who wasn't even taking part yelled that throwing up afterwards should disqualify you. Somebody counted that I took in a few days worth of calories. My appetite came back two days after. So I take it you didn't end up puking? He'll be back in a minute. He's still on the toilet trying to poop out all the dough. I told my 6th grade friends I could just off a 2 story roof and not get hurt. Guess who only got a scraped knee that day? Not me. I broke my leg. Parker people, on the other hand, can do a safety roll and be mostly unharmed aside from some mild pain. When I was 6 I stapled my fingers because I had convinced all of my friends that I had iron hands. I did the same thing a couple of years ago at my old job. I was about 28 at the time. 
was holding the top part of the stapler. The bottom was on the desk and for some reason, I leant on it, stapled my middle finger in front of a bunch of colleagues and customers, felt like a right idiot, was bored at work once when it was pretty dead, and while talking to a cute cashier, I was fidgeting with the stapler, rolling it over my hands like it was a nunchuck, I slipped and ended up squeezing it, it put a staple into my finger, the cashier and I just looked at each other for a moment and then she asked if I just stapled myself. I, at age like 9-10, wanted a cookie that my friend had. Said friend proceeded to completely lick the entire cookie. Still want it? He said holding it out. Dumbus me proceeded to grab it and eat it in one bite. Total power move looking back on it. Meanwhile he too sees it as a power move and still tells people the story to this day of the most hardcore kid he ever met who took a cookie from him after he licked it while he stared in shock and awe at the brass of this man in child's clothing. Before him. When I was around 12, I was neglecting to flush my piss, too busy playing armored core, so my dear mother brings me into the bathroom, and tells me if I don't flush next time, she's going to dip my hands in the piss. I looked at her, made a hammer fist, smashed it in the toilet, covered myself in piss, only a little on her, thank god, I wasn't even a malicious child, just salivated at the opportunity to show I could withstand the punishment and was thus unafraid. I could imagine a little 12 year old thinking he's badass dripping with piss and his mom completely terrified of his immense power. I was about 4 years old and my grandfather was making something with buttermilk. I saw it in his hand, and I cried and screamed and begged to have some. He kept saying no, you won't like it, but I persisted. He finally poured me an entire glass. I took one swig and I'm sure he could see the disgust on my face, because he looked like he had one. I stared at him right in his eyeballs as I chugged the entire glass. Ha, huh, my kids did this with Baker's chocolate. They, at the time 9 and 6, begged for a piece. They are it and I could see the disgust in their faces. But they had to be all alpha and be it's good. And then had another piece. Morons. I had eating chocolate in the pantry. Should have told them since they like it so much that's the only chocolate you'll buy for them from now on. I proved to myself that it's possible to eat 5 kilos of shrimp in one sitting. I also proved that eating 5 kilos of shrimp in one sitting will make you very, very sick. Agreed. Red Lobster did all you can eat shrimp once and I considered it a challenge. I sat down and immediately asked my waitress what the most shrimp she had seen a person eat was. Played that stupid ducking five finger fillet game with a compass back when I was in school. As I got more confidence I obviously got faster and inevitably the point went right into the side of my fingertip. Ducking idiot. I played that stupid game at scout camp. I stopped after one of the younger scouts got to Koki because he could go faster than us older guys and sliced about one stroke two inch into the webbing between his fingers. I can still see the blood. Shoved my pointer finger into my nose up to second knuckle. I then got a sinus infection. Who knew? My daughter did that to me when she was two. Then she hooked her finger and pulled. Had a terrible blood nose and for a few days if I sneezed it would start back up. Zero stroke 10 would not recommend. Not me but one of my former co-workers told us about the time he ate a tub of butter on a dare. He made it about halfway through and had to throw up. He said what came out was near yellow. For the next month, the smell of butter made him gag and when he perspired, he could still smell it. You'd think he'd learn but he attempted the butter tub challenge a second time. This time, he paced himself and actually finished the whole thing. He said the duck up though was eating it before having to catch a train. While he was waiting, his heart was racing and he felt so amped up. He did push ups and jumping jacks at Penn Station. I don't even like the stuff. Butter dares a dare. Chugged way too much apple cider vinegar. Huge mistake. As a kid I told my friends I could hold my breath for a long time. Long enough to pass out, in fact. And that's exactly what I proceeded to do. Ate the largest box of goldfish in one night in college. Don't do this. Oh my god I thought this was talking about real goldfish. The one that looks like a huge milk carton? Yes. One friend gets super creeped up when someone starts running at him like a dog. My friend realized I'm an expert in running like a dog. I too will be creeped out. LOL. Snuck into the Hilton and confiscated a white robe. 
Got caught and they let me go without checking my backpack. That's alcohol for you. Confiscated lol. They don't deserve these robes. Ima take them back for the people. I let a black widow spider bite me to prove that they were venomous but not deadly. I also won a $150 bet. Did it actually inject venom into you or was it a dry bite? It actually takes a lot of energy to make the venom. They rarely inject people with a full dose. They save it for their prey. I was learning MMA for 3 months when some guy challenged me to a fight I immediately accepted it because I wanted to impress my crush by beating him. Turns out he was a national champion and was in the state for a MMA tournament. I got my ass kicked for solid 3 rounds. Why on earth would a national champion ass kicker challenge somebody who has been training for 3 months? What did you do to this guy to upset him? Something similar happened in my sister's gym. She was practice fighting and this newer guy would constantly go as hard as he could like he was trying to do real damage in practice. He got called out on it. He started arguing. Then a trainer slash pro fighter immediately put him in his place. I think he said something along the lines of if you wanna go hard we can go hard. Was trying to do this stunt on a dirt bike to impress this dude. Ended up falling and breaking my collarbone. R.I.P. And then you guys got married, right? He's married now with kids, and well me, I am still single. Let someone shock my wrist with a dog's shock collar. He called me a kitten. I had no other choice. I had a high tolerance for pain in high school. Definitely got taste a bunch because we thought it was funny. I mean it was funny, but it was dumb. Running into doors at full speed. Putting stapes in my stomach. I was dumb. The cinnamon challenge. I've always been good at those weird food challenges so I did it pretty easily. But some people really ducked up their lungs trying it. My sister-in-law did this and now she's allergic to cinnamon. Never realized how many things have cinnamon before then. Remain standing through as much taser as possible. My friend used up the battery on himself and said he was trying to get used to it. He said that eventually he would be able to remain standing. I said what the hell and tried. It's not easy fighting electroconvulsive action. We tasted ourselves and each other a bunch of times. I don't think we got better at resisting it. I say taser bit I really mean stun gun no prongs. Tell me more about tasting yourselves. Punched a giant plate glass window out of a jewelry shop in Palm Springs when I was 21. Total drunk dong energy. Window slashed my hand wide open. And all I remember is seeing my buddy sprinting away when the store alarm started blaring. My other friend picked me up in front of the store. Blood was literally spraying out of my hand all over his back seat. And he got me to hospital and into IQ. When emergency room doctor pulled out 6 inch needle I passed out cold. Woke up about 12 hours later with a throbbing headache. Bandages up hand. Finals started the next week and I couldn't write with my left hand. So had to use my right. Also took me a good year to get my dexterity back to play guitar. Total a-hole move on my part. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.